who bought flock in the 1970s and they failed, they made no progress in breeding and uh, they were just got rid of and uh, uh, now Tom King had put this flock together and uh, he convinced Martin to uh, 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 William to buy them and uh, we discovered that uh, uh, there was more there, than, a lot more there than we thought, yeah. uh, and, and that came as a big surprise to us last year. Okay. We expected that uh, uh, there might be a few sheep with uh, DNA, but uh, we might see an 86% success rate. Oh. Uh, 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 yeah. uh, 65 sheep were DNA tested, mm. and 56 uh, came up with. Uh, uh, the Cladore DNA are unique DNA, like that's they weren't able to say what uh, yes. breed it was, but they hadn't seen it before. And is it is it the case that there aren't um, photographs of the original breed that you can that you're discerning them from uh, writ- written accounts of? of yeah, well, it's all from written accounts. We have no we have no original uh, purebreds, and we have no photographs of purebreds. Okay. Uh, but we're hoping that. Uh, Photographs with a bit of publicity now will emerge. Okay. That uh, may not be photographs of the sheep, but they may be in the background of a photograph. Sure. sure yeah. uh, but uh, see, these were never bred. We'd say like the same as Suffolk's were bred. Mm. You know, like to get it the type. So uh, when we get poor breads, I don't think they're going to uh, they're going to have a uniform appearance. That may be a problem with them down the line, but uh, it's, not to worry, it's not to worry about this stage. Yeah. The important thing now is to get to purebreds, and uh, I think with the purebreds, we'll be finding that uh, there's a lot of variation in the breed, but uh, that's what it is, that's what it is. Uh, uh, I'd expect that wool was an important part of the reason for keeping them, and uh, that's what we're hoping that. Uh, there'll be potential in the wool. And I believe uh, women used to shear part of a sheep to get enough to get yeah. to finish a job <laughs> or a leg or, or <laughs> so take what they need <laughs> take what they need which, is, which is a, a lesson in how we should, we should all be living just take what we need rather than I don't know you'll be shearing the whole sheep or not or a leg <laughs> <laughs> it's great to meet you.